at work right now and it's slow, tuning in to see what's up. I mean, it's gonna be a fun keyboard, I think. We're doing the, the QB kit. Three keyboards and 500 switches for 240 bucks uh, or 230. I'm not even sure because they didn't respond back to me when I noticed that there's a different price in the description of the of their product. All right, I guess we're just gonna jump right into it then. I, I was gonna see how everyone's doing today, but everyone's just pretty excited for this keyboard today. So maybe we'll just jump right into it. So this is the PCB. We'll take an in-depth look at it here in a bit. So this is for the Alice, it looks like, obviously. Uh, daughter board over here, puts it to the side. It is a hot swap PCB. This is not the tri-mode version. There's no order to any of this. The animal on this is pretty damn good. This is a prototype, by the way. This is their version one prototype, and they told me they're gonna be sending out a version two prototype. Again, I'm just taking things out as I see them here. This is one of the switches. Another thing, more switches, more switches, more switches, and more switches. There is 500 switches. I don't know if I actually got 500 or not in this particular batch, but there are silent switches, tactile switches, Thaki JWK switches, Poppy B-Sun switches, and Clacky Key Geek switches. Okay, there are some minor scuffs, which I can see. There's a big line here too. I don't know if this is showing up well on stream, but there is some scuffs and marks on this. The 75%, actually not bad looking at all. This one here actually looks like it's in very good condition. And the Alice. The Fox on it's actually quite nice looking. So by the way, this is what you get for my, plus the PCB, which is over to the side for about 500 bucks. Or sorry, for 200, and, not even 500 bucks. I don't know what I'm talking about. 500 switches and this for $239. The Anno actually matches pretty good. There is a slight difference I'm seeing in this anodization versus this. It's very slight and I can tell you what that is. It's not so much the red. It just looks like this was actually more well anodized. Like it's purely red than this. See, see what I mean? There's like a little bit of a difference in, uh, in shade just slightly. Uh, the more I think about it, the, uh, the more this kit bothers me. It's like bundling a truck, a smart car and a sedan. Well, I, I was gonna leave this to the end, but I also don't quite understand the pairing. Um, in my opinion, what I think would have been a great pairing for all of this would have been this, all right? A TKL, a numpad, that would have been a nice pairing right there, and then a small 60%. I actually think that would have been more ideal. I mean, you could have left the 75, but I actually think the, the Alice is a little awkward to put in this kit because the Alice is not, I don't know if a tented Alice is like super widely used, you know? But you know, maybe some people will find the Alice ideal. Maybe someone just wants to spend a few extra dollars and get all three of these to try them out because it's not that crazy expensive. All right, I guess we'll do the Alice first. This build here will be with one of the switches that come with it. And I'm not gonna lube it, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I understand this is a, this might be like a deal of a lifetime type, type thing. If you can't like work into your financial situation, 250 bucks, then just don't do it. Save, save your money. Like I 100% I want you guys to be financially responsible not just jump on the bandwagon of like buying things cause they're the new hottest thing. All right, just so you guys can kind of see how chunky this thing really, really is. Uh, I'm also assuming the final production will have better packaging, not pre-done gaskets. I am also hoping that. But again, if we're just gonna take a look at what we have now, then yeah, it all seems a little bit rushy, rushy rushed to me, you know? But now I'm wondering, why is this bouncing up and down like this? And this side's like rock solid good. Like this side, not nothing. It's like 100% perfect. And just for the record, just in case I know there's gonna be someone be like, Alex, why didn't you ask these questions? I did. I said, was there any notes I should have when building these? So I did ask for any and all notes and I got mainly notes about um, what was in the package and stuff. Nope. The cable is still propping this thing up pretty hardcore here. Because if I put this back on, This is still fine on this side. It's just the cable of the daughter board. I mean, I think a lot of boards have done that. Ooh, what is the sound? Oh, look at all the anno hooks. Uh, this is, I know we've talked about anno hook marks in the past, 
but these are the anno hooks so they they hook it up they'll hold the you know through those little holes when they anodize it and put it in the bath uh, so that's where those anno hooks are and you can see the streaks there you guys hear that I'm gonna put that in my notes. Yeah, sounds like. Some sort of dust somewhere. I kinda wanna use Darling. Nice, nice little typing feeling going on. Nice little flex. So this is the QB 75%. This is part of the, the kit here. We're, we are using Nixie switches. So these Nixie switches did not come with the kit. Um, I just wanted to do like a kind of control kind of test using switches that I know I like. Uh, so let's see. These are not stock. They are lubed, filmed, and spring swapped. Uh, this is the polycarbonate plate. Uh, there's no foam in this. It did come with some foam, but I'm going to, again, I don't think this foam is going to be the best foam in the world. It might help if it's a little hollow, suppose. I don't think it's going to do much. This is pretty like non-dense foam. This is like a... Protective foam, more so. Okay, there is a small issue I would say with the numpad. Thank you, Realistic Duck, appreciate you, man. See how the numpad kind of wobbles a little bit? I believe on the inside there is only two spaces for um, the gaskets, if I recall. I think you need to put two more over here. So I think I feel like that's kind of a fundamental flaw. Because that'll bottom out. Again, with anything, guys, please, if you guys are unsure, and this is this is uh, what I'm gearing up to say, if you guys are unsure, all right? If you guys really don't know if you want this, and if you don't have a good feeling about buying it, do not buy it. Like if your gut's saying, hey, I'm like 50-50 on this, don't risk it. Don't make yourself put, don't put yourself through that stress. They're just keyboards. Um, please, that is the one ask I have out of any of you guys tonight, is if you feel uneasy, do not purchase. Oh, since you're the V2 Pros instead? I mean, it's fine. We get to look at the V1s. Maybe there's some changes we can do before the V2s. Maybe it's something they didn't catch. So I'm fine at looking at V1s. Makes sense to me. Let's uh, let's jump into it a little bit, I guess. This is the QB again. So we already looked at the QB and the first time we looked at it, it had a long ways to go. It, it just, it wasn't quite there yet. Um, there wasn't, there wasn't a reason to like, you know, jump on the idea of the QB yet. This doesn't look like Elden Ring to me. You toy, I promise it's gonna happen on Saturday. I don't know if I'll stream it, but it'll it's gonna happen. So the QB, the QB needed work, and I left it at that. I, I gave all my thoughts and opinions to to Eric's from Nland Keys. So there's a lot of differences between the V1 and V2. So one of them is the layout difference. Uh, they said to accommodate more practicality and differentiate the Type K's layout. After discussions with Gion, we added a compatible layout with arrow keys uh, and a shorter right shift versus the original layout. So we'll take a look. The anodization has gone from 150 grit to 220 grit sandblasting. It looks a lot better, I'll show you guys as well. The tenting angle has been adjusted from seven degree to five degree, which is more in line with the Neo Ergo, which I think makes more sense. I feel like that's a little bit more of like a, uh, uh, I feel like that's more of a doable thing, so. And there's gonna be triple battery mode, and I don't know if I got batteries in mind, but we'll see. It, the keyboards aren't in the right spot, by the way, because I did I didn't spec some stuff beforehand, but just for for size reference, nothing fits inside the frame of the camera. So Alex is four of one. So what? That makes sense for all three. Yeah, you got the switches in here. You got the tented Alice, the seventy five percent, and the numpad. So pretty crazy. I'm gonna just show you guys the rest of it though, because uh, I did take this one here because I had to check something before before stream. So I'm just gonna leave this to the side. It kind of comes like this. I didn't move stuff around as an FYI, but it, I mean, it does have like, 
This switch is all nicely put into containers. You know, they've definitely thought out some good packaging stuff here, um, which is good to see because I know the Molly didn't have great packaging. They got all the other components here. It really just feels like a Christmas package. Well, now as for Anno, there is a little, still a little bit dust on this, so ignore some of the dust here, but the Anno is pretty good. I'll let you guys kind of take a closer look. Again, there's some dust that settled on it, but the Anno is pretty good. They did a, there is some like glue from, this is another issue. See this here, this is the glue. The foam, the glue kind of didn't stick on one of it. So the glue is now kind of on the case. So the glue on the foam has kind of faded away and it does seem like there's one chip here and there was a loose screw in, in this as well. So maybe that is our first point of criticism with this package, because I want to see this, you know, be made and do well. Uh, the screws need to be a little bit uh, fixed inside the box here. All right, so bit of an issue with this too. Again, this is my first time unboxing everything, but this, I unboxed this separately. It seems like the screws fell out of the weight. So it has that nice little QB thing here. And it would seem that it's completely scratched up the back of the case here. Yeah, and I think just, just to give feedback, because again, this is a feedback stream. This is not a final product. This is a version two prototype. So I want everyone to understand that too, right? Like this is not the, the final thing. No nice, well, I mean, we can still build it. Not a big deal. I have to figure out where all the screws are though, because I only know where one is. I, I applaud them for making a lot of good changes. I got to admit, they made, they made a lot of good changes to the board so far. It still, in my opinion, has some ways to go though. I would say in its current state, it, it's definitely not a recommend to buy yet. I'd love to see a third iteration with just some minor, it, it feels like minor changes across the board so far, which can be in the sense of packaging, quality control, like making sure this doesn't happen to anyone, which I think is gonna be the most important part. All right, so this can do either, I believe top mount or gasket. So I think I wanna start with top though. What do you guys think about dual shot on this? You think dual shot would look cool? But we're using, I guess this is the poppy switches with the plastic plate, no foam, no nothing like that and top mount configuration. It doesn't sound bad. It does have a resonance to it. I'll see if I can put just something thin on the edges here because there's a lot of contact that happens there and maybe here as well on the four corners. Do you feel you're able to assess how risky the QB group I will be? Um, it's, it's, it's tough for me because at, if I'm being straight up with you guys, at first I was like, okay, Enland Keys had a bunch of hiccups with the Molly and they were still very active in their Discord and they've always also been very slow at shipping things. I'm not saying everything's been corrected, but I've talked to Erics from Enland Keys. I've talked to some other clients, uh, not of mine, but of, of them. Some people are really happy with the um, support they ended up getting. Uh, not the people that went through people like Keebs for All and other vendors. I'm talking directly from Enland Keys. So, so far, everyone I've talked to has had a great experience with the after sales support, which unfortunately was needed quite a bit. So there's a side profile on the Alice here, a little bit higher of a front height, which I need to measure. It does come with the wrist rest, which IMO wrist rests are not my favorite thing in the world, nor are they actually good for you. There's the back of the board, it's a tented Alice, you know? Love you. So, huh. purple's great. They did a great job on the purple. And this is the weird part. The bottom anodization is a little bit splotchy looking. Kind of hard to show a little bit on stream here. Maybe you can kind of see it here. I feel like you need to look at it in person. But the top coat, 
on the top piece is fantastic. And it looks like they matched it decently well too. Maybe the bottom piece is a smidge darker, which would make sense why this is a bit more splotchy. But I do hope to see that this gets resolved in a further batch of prototypes. MZY1. Actually, I don't mind it. MZY1 switches. Uh, they're from MZ Studio. Uh, these are a bottom house PBT material with a fiberglass uh, or, sorry, PA66 top. And then uh, the stem is a Y1 material and it has a bottom out of 57 plus or minus five. So you can see the Anno hook marks in here. God, it's been a little while since I've seen Anno marks in a keyboard. I feel like most people are getting a little, like most people who do anodizing are getting better at hiding the hooks. It doesn't really matter, but it's important to point out anyways, because it's on the inside of the board. Scratches on the internals as well. So something I'll note to NLAN keys too. Uh, I do find that silicone gasket socks, in case someone does ask, do sound a smidge different than pour-on gaskets. Uh, we're gonna use Dracula today. I feel like this is a good set for this. Again, these are really nice switches. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed with these uh, Y1 switches. They feel really good in hand. Love the tab sound. The enter, backspace is okay. The enter and the pipe key are delicious. This was the uh, first rendition of the prototype. So you can see the layout is a lot different now. You guys see that? Sorry, there's a lot of dust on this, my bad guys. The layout's a lot different. You can even see the anodization improvement. I don't know if it's possible to look at it from this distance and see the anno improvement. I know, it's been sitting on the floor. I meant to show you guys the other day and I just haven't taken it out. Yeah, like look how petite the Ergo is compared to the QB here. A little more elegant, if I do say so myself. Impressive though. Um, some changes again. The anno at the bottom could use a bit of work. Gotta clean up the QC of the packaging. Would love to see some, um, We'd love to see some um, silk screening on the PCB just so people have a better idea of what, what goes where. Other than that, uh, and the QCing stuff of the package and better packaging, dude, this sounds... Like, this is pretty solid. Thank you guys, appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye, everyone. Love you.